Welcome to Electron Online and now for a very special topic in astronomy, really exciting, called supernova. So what are supernova? Before we answer that question, let's go back in history, way back to July 4th, 1054 AD, when for the first time in the written record, we have indication that people saw these very interesting events. And what's so interesting about them? Well, what happened was on that morning, the, the astronomer Yang Weitei in China, who worked for the royal court in China, he saw a brand new star in the sky just before sunup. Just kind of like, like what uh, Venus looks like in the morning before sunup. It's that bright object in the sky when all the other stars are gone because the sky is getting too blue and too bright to see anything else. This very new star appeared in the sky. And he looked at it and went, wow, we've never seen that star before. And it was bright. It was brighter than Venus. So what was it? Well, he kept on observing it night after night, and for the next several nights, the star became a lot brighter, and then slowly over time, the star began to, fa to fade, and after about 21 months, it was no longer visible in the sky. So what was this thing? Well, it was a supernova, and now we know that the remnant of it, and we have taken pictures of it with the Hubble Space Telescope right here, is the Crab Nebula. This is the end result of what was seen back in 1054 AD, which was almost a thousand years ago. Now, it turned out, that event really occurred 7,500 years ago because it happened at a distance of about 6,500 light years. So it took the light from this event 6,500 years before it actually reached the Earth, before we actually saw it on that July 4th morning in 1054 AD. It turns out there were also some written records found in Constantinople, which is Istanbul in Turkey, where somebody had recorded the event. And we even saw some petroglyphs in New Mexico, which we believe was an indication of that particular event on that July morning. Also, what we have found in Arizona, we found a petroglyph that seems to indicate that they saw another supernova, 1006 AD. And so that was also an event we've been able to trace back. But of course, the most famous one is the one that was seen on that particular morning. So, let's get a feel for what that really is. Well, first of all, it became so bright that it looked brighter than Venus in the sky. And so, we, let's assume that it had about an estimated magnitude of minus 7.5, which puts it about to 10, between 10 and 20 times brighter than Venus. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you took our sun and placed the sun 10 parsecs away, now a parsec is 3.26 uh, light years, so 10 parsecs is 32.6 light years. If you took our sun and placed it 10 parsecs away, it would have an absolute magnitude, which is then equal to the, uh, to the apparent magnitude of about plus five. So if we now were to take that very same object and place it there 10 parsecs away, it would have a magnitude of minus 7.5. Wow, that is 12 and a half magnitudes brighter, and 12 and a half magnitudes is about, let's see, 100 times 100, how much brighter is that? So it would be a delta intensity equal to 100. For every five magnitudes, something is 100 times brighter. So 100 times 100, that's 5 plus 5, that's 10, plus about another 10. So the 100 times 100 is 10,000, times 10 is 100,000 times brighter. So if this event had occurred at the distance of 32.6 light years, it would have been 100,000 times as bright as the sun. But it didn't happen at a distance of 32.6 light years. It actually happened at a distance of 6,500 light years, which is about 200 times 32.6 light years. And since we know that the intensity of light is proportional to 1 over the distance squared, that means if it happened that much farther away, it would be that much farther, it would be that much brighter. How much brighter? Well, 1 over 200 squared. So 1 over 200 squared, and of course we want to take the inverse of that because it's how much brighter it would be. So the delta intensity would be equal to 200 quantity squared, which is equal to 40,000. Now, that means it's even 40,000 times brighter over here because it's that far away compared to if it happened over here. So now we multiply 100,000 times 40,000, and what do we get? Well, 100,000 times 1,000 is 100 million, times 10,000 is 1 billion, times 40,000 is 4 billion. So it was estimated to be about 4 billion times as bright as the sun. 4 billion times as bright as the sun. So what in the world could an object like that be? Of course, back then they had no idea that this was indeed the case, but now we do. So a supernova is some cataclysmic event in the sky 
that happens to stars, and we'll get more into detail of what that really is, that makes the star temporarily as bright as billions of times the brightness of our sun. Can you imagine an object up there billions of times as bright as our sun? That would be something amazing. So that's what a supernova is. Now we'll get into the details of why supernovas happen and why they're as bright as they are. And there's different types of supernovas as well. So something that was recorded over a thousand, oh, oh, almost a thousand years ago that we now know was the Crab Nebula was one of those cataclysmic events. And now we realize those things happen all over the universe. Typically, every galaxy has a supernova, once every maybe four or five hundred years. And since there's billions of galaxies, you can imagine there's many supernovas taking place all the time. Basically, on a daily basis out there, some galaxies will have supernovas taking place. So, if you're interested in these things, stay tuned and we'll get down to the details of what they are.